I'm going to bring up Premiere Pro. You're going to see the CPU wind out. Right now, the CPU is trying to do the redraw or refresh the timeline. If I slide over here, you're going to see it has a hard time refreshing these thumbnails as well or redrawing them, whichever way you want to look at it. If I slide down, you're going to see the CPU kick in to do all these redraws. If I zoom in and then I, as you've seen, it takes it a while for it to, to fill in. I can come over here. It's going to take it a while to fill in. If I zoom in, you'll see the CPU kick way up. If I hit play, I'm hitting play and it's not going to play back. See how it's all like choppy? I can zoom in somewhere else. This is 4K as well. If I hit play, you can see me hit play. It's not going to start playing right away. Unfortunately, Premiere Pro has to redraw the frames before it'll play. If I zoom in again, this is high definition. It's not 4K. So if I zoom in really quick, it doesn't take it long to do the redraw. I can zoom in again, come down over here, stretch it out. And before I can, you know, hit play, it's already done the refresh or the redraw. If you notice when I'm editing the 4K and I do the same thing, as you can see, the CPU kicks up. Perhaps Adobe Premiere Pro could use the GPU to do the refreshing and the redraw of all these little thumbnail images. It might be a little bit quicker than having the CPU do it because, like I said, if I zoom out here, here we see the CPU. My CPU fan winds out a lot, too, just to do these uh, refresh or redraws. But what I can do is click on here if I go video head thumbnails. Now if I zoom in like this and I come all the way over here, which is 4K, I can hit play instantaneously. Right off the bat, it starts playing. I can go all the way over here, get right out of picture, picture, hit play. The reason being is it's not wasting a lot of CPU resources doing the refresh or the redraw of all these little thumbnails. If we click on this clip, we can tell that the media is on the F drive, which is a mechanical hard drive. I'm gonna hit play really quick. It's just a mechanical hard drive. It may or may not drop frames right now. As you can see, the F drive is really getting used. If you notice Premiere Pro is dropping frames or playing back really choppy, it's important to monitor your computer system. We can tell here that the hard drive is getting pegged at 100%. The CPU and the GPUs are not. We know that it's the hard drive causing it to drop frames. You can tell it looks really choppy right now as it's playing back. It's easy to troubleshoot your own computer system when you're using Premiere Pro. I'm going to click on the F drive. The F drive is a mechanical hard drive. We can tell I have a folder called temp test on the F drive. I'm gonna slide this out of the way for a second. And then on Premiere, I'm gonna to go to the menu bar. I'm gonna to go to edit. I'm gonna go down to preferences. And then I'm gonna to go to media cache. This C drive is an M.2 solid state drive. I'm gonna change things up though. Here I'm selecting the F drive, which is the mechanical hard drive, and I am going to use the temp test folder. Select OK. Now what I want to do is play this particular part of the sequence back. I'll hit play. It's very similar to the this part of the video, and it's playing back several layers, even though the temp file or media cache file is on a mechanical hard drive. As you folks can tell, it doesn't really matter what drive I place the media cache files on. As long as the hard drive is fast enough to play the media, you're good to go. As I demonstrated, a single mechanical hard drive is probably not going to have the throughput to play back three and four layers of red one 
R3D video codec or even ProRes. Several mechanical hard drives striped together in a RAID array can play back six, seven, eight layers of ProRes in R3D video files. If I right click on this video clip and go to properties, we can tell it's on the F drive. If I hit play, the mechanical hard drive is going to be fast enough to play back multiple layers of 4K if it's H.264 or H.265. As you can tell, my CPU is not being used hard at all, nor is the GPU. My integrated graphics processor, which has the Intel QuickSync on it, is being used. As I stated earlier, these clips are all on a mechanical hard drive. These are on a RAID system. And these clips are on my C drive, which is an M.2 solid state drive. If I click on this little icon here and switch this to continuous video, even though this is a mechanical hard drive, watch what happens. See how quick it did the refresh? Or redraw, whatever you want to call it. I can go way back up into here. I can go over to this one. And see how much faster it is? And that's because it's not as hard for Premiere Pro to do the refresh or redraw of ProRes clips and the red one R3D video file clips. Premiere Pro will allow you to change the scratch disk location. You simply go to the menu bar, go to File, scroll down to Project Setting. You can select General or Scratch Disk. I'll select General. As you can tell, we can get to the Scratch Disk really easy. By default, it is the same as Project. I always leave it in the default setting. With my computer setup, it wouldn't be wise to take time to put the media cache file on a mechanical hard drive. I did want to show everybody, if all you have is one large four terabyte mechanical hard drive and you're editing H.264 video files, whether they're high definition or 4K, you can have the operating system on there, the media cache, as well as your media content, all on the same drive.